Do you have any floating plants in your freshwater aquarium? If not, your planted aquarium may be losing out on an entirely new dimension. Floating aquarium plants can bring a completely new look to your tank. In fact, they're our favorite suggestion for aquarists who want to improve the overall aesthetic of their environment. Hello friends, welcome back to Aquarium Store Depot. In this episode, we will be talking about aquarium floating plants. We'll go over a few species, the benefits and drawbacks of keeping them in your aquarium, and a brief overview of their maintenance. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned and share your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe. Floating plants don't only look great, but they also provide some other excellent benefits. In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know to grow floating plants and provide you with a list of amazing plant options. Let's get started! And first, know what floating plants are and some benefits of planting them. Floating aquarium plants come in many different shapes and sizes. When we talk about floating plants in the aquarium hobby, we don't only mean aquatic plants that float on the water surface with parts of the plant sticking out of the top of the water. Aquatic plants that are not rooted to the substrate but drift freely in the water column are also included in this category. Most species are green overall, but some, like the red root floater, have a bit more color. I hope you understand what floating plants are. Now let's discuss their benefits in the aquarium. The Benefits of Floating Plants for Your Tank Oxygen and Food Floating plants help your tank in multiple ways, and one of the benefits is oxygen and food. Plants use carbon dioxide to give off oxygen, which your fish need to breathe. Since most floating plants are fast-growing, they can produce plenty of oxygen. Cover for your fish Apart from good looks, floating plants have loads of benefit for your fish and invert. Floating plants that create a lot of structure in the water column make great places for fish to lay their eggs and for fish fry and baby shrimps to hide safely away from hungry mouths. These are some of the advantages that floating plants can bring to your fish tank. And if you're interested in learning more about these, you can visit our official blog. To save your time, I will provide these links in the description. Now that you know more about the benefits of floating aquarium plants, I will introduce a list of unique species for your home aquarium. So without further ado, let's learn about our first plant on the list, which is Red Root Floater. Red Root Floater is a great floating plant from South America that does well in just about any freshwater aquarium. The leaves of this plant are green if grown under low light but turn a deep red with high lighting. These floating plants have excellent red roots no matter what sort of lighting you use. Red root floaters grow fast and will quickly cover the water surface of your fish tank. Controlling its growth is easy, though all you need to do is pull out a few plants now and then. This is one of the best floating aquarium plants if you want to add reds to your aquarium. After red root floaters, let's learn about our next floating plant on this list which is floating fern. Salvinia natans is an excellent floating freshwater plant option for aquariums with lower water temperatures. This low-maintenance plant species has green, air-filled leaves with interesting hair-like structures on their top surface. The leaves of this plant can measure a little over an inch in size but are usually smaller in the home aquarium. These aquatic plants don't have an extensive root system and will grow best in low-flow tanks. This plant is stunning and excellent for aquariums with slow water flows. It can survive in an area with a wide pH range and moderate to intense illumination. After floating fern, let's learn about our next floating plant on this list, which is dwarf water lettuce. Dwarf water lettuce is a green floating plant native to Lake Victoria in East Africa. The leaves of the dwarf water lettuce plant grow about 1.5 inches long and are soft and velvety in texture. Dwarf water lettuce plants grow dense roots that trail down into the fish tank, providing great places for shrimp and small fish to hide. Its well-developed roots also make dwarf water lettuce a tremendous aquatic plant for reducing nitrate levels in fish tanks. After the dwarf water lettuce, now let's move to our next floating plant which is the Salvinia coculata. This attractive floating plant is native to the tropical regions of Asia. It is a floating fern that is not very well known in the hobby but makes an excellent addition to the planted fish tank. The leaves of this aquarium plant are less than half an inch in size and, under ideal conditions, curl upwards to form an exciting bag shape. 
However, achieving this form in the planted aquarium requires good light, plenty of nutrients, and still water conditions. Now after Selvinia cacolata, let's learn about our next floating plant, which is the Subwasser Tang. Subwasser Tang is a German name that translates to English as freshwater seaweed. This is an exciting plant species that not much is known about. In fact, the leaves of this floating plant are just one cell layer thick. Subwasser Tang floats freely in the aquarium and does not produce roots or need any substrate to grow. This is a plant that is very popular with shrimp keepers. Now let's learn about our next plant on this list, which is Crystalworth Rishia. If left to grow naturally, Rishia fluetans will form a mat at the surface of the aquarium. It is a versatile floating plant that can also be grown attached to hardscape features or attached to mesh. This beautiful species of plant can be found growing all over the world. It provides excellent habitat for small fry and shrimp in your aquarium. There is little work that will be required to cultivate it successfully. Crystal Worth is a plant that grows outwards and uses spores to reproduce. After Crystal Worth Rishia, now let's learn about our next plant on this list, which is Banana Plant. The banana plant is native to the southeastern United States. This low-maintenance aquatic plant does send roots into the substrate and can be rooted and allowed to grow to the surface or left to float and send roots down. These are beautiful and exciting water lily type plants that can flower if given good light and left to grow mature. A freshwater banana plant can float slightly above the gravel or substrate in tanks with areas of still water flow. The banana plant will develop roots from the stem region directly above the tubers if allowed to float. After the banana plant, now let's talk about our next plant on this list, which is the mosaic plant. The mosaic plant is a truly spectacular floating plant. The leaves of this plant are dark green with red edges and close up each night before reopening when the sun rises. Unfortunately, this plant requires some space and needs to be planted in ponds or larger freshwater aquariums to grow to its full size and glory. This plant produces plenty of beautiful yellow flowers when it is growing well. After the mosaic plant, now let's learn about one of the fastest growing floating plants in the aquarium hobby, which is the duckweed. Duckweed is a very small floating plant that reproduces quickly in the aquarium. This tough floating plant is very efficient for removing nitrates from the water. Each plant is bright green and floats above the water surface with small hanging roots. Aquarists have a love-hate relationship with this plant because of its great looks and nano size but aggressive growth. After duckweed, now let's talk about our next plant on this list which is the Amazon frogbit. Amazon frogbit is a very popular South and Central American floating plant option that can be grown on the water surface of the planted aquarium. The spongy leaves of this plant can be left to cover the surface of your aquarium, and the hanging roots provide excellent habitat for your fish and livestock. Fortunately, Amazon frogbit is low maintenance and pretty easy to control because the plants are not super small. This plant has become an invasive weed in parts of North America, so remember to be careful about disposing of it. Now let's move on to our next plant on this list, which is Hornwort, a popular plant in the aquarium hobby. Hornwort is a trendy and very easy to grow aquarium plant. This stem plant lacks true roots and is not rooted in the substrate. It will float in the aquarium, providing excellent cover for small fish and shrimp. This makes the Hornwort plant popular for breeders who keep grow out tanks without substrate. Hornwort is a popular aquatic plant for both fish tanks and outdoor ponds, because of its fluffy looking stems, extremely fast growth, and ability to consume excess nutrients from the water. Let's move to our next plant on this list, which is Java Moss, one of the most popular plants you can buy. Java Moss is one of the hobby's most versatile and popular aquatic plants. These low maintenance plants do not require special lighting or equipment and can be used in different ways. Like most floating plants, Java Moss is useful for protecting eggs and creating a hiding place for small fry and shrimp from hungry bigger fish. Now after Java Moss, let's learn about our next floating water plant which is the Water Wisteria. Water Wisteria is a straightforward and fast growing plant that is an excellent choice for beginners because it does not need CO2 or intense light. It is similar to the Water Sprite and the two plants are sometimes confused. The leaves of this plant look pretty different in their immersed form and change shape when grown underwater. 
The water wisteria plant can be rooted into substrate or simply floated in the aquarium. After water wisteria, now let's talk about Anacharis. Anacharis is another easy stem plant for beginners that can be grown floating in the aquarium or rooted in the substrate. The Anacharis plant grows very well in cool water and cooler tropical aquariums. Anacharis is a relatively fast-growing and hardy plant that can grow large. It is best to grow this plant in medium to low aquariums so it doesn't take over a nano aquarium. It is one of the best floating aquarium plants for beginners. After Anacharis, now let's learn about Water Sprite. Water Sprite is a fabulous floating stem plant that grows wild in tropical areas worldwide. It is suitable for beginners and is easy to grow, providing many great benefits in the home aquarium. This aquarium plant can float in the water or grow rooted in the substrate. A planted water sprite works well in mid-ground or background and can be used as a filler plant in either area to add green to space or fill holes in an aquascape. A floating water sprite can add beauty to a tank by providing green color near the water surface. After the water sprite, now let's move to our next and last floating plant which is the Brazilian Pennyworth. Brazilian Pennyworth is a great South and Central American plant that is easy to grow and doesn't need much maintenance. Although this plant will grow best under moderate lighting, it can adapt to low light conditions and a wide range of temperatures. This floating stem plant can grow rooted or float freely in the fish tank. It may be kept as a floating plant or a rooted plant. Brazilian Pennyworth may be utilized in the background or mid-ground because it is a rooted plant. Even some enthusiasts put it front and center. The plant will develop as a stem plant toward the water surface and a light source after it takes root. Floating plants on the top of a planted tank or hanging in the water column can make an already great looking aquarium look truly spectacular. They also offer loads of essential benefits for your fish and other livestock. That's enough reason for anyone to try growing this kind of freshwater plant. So why not go ahead and try something new in your aquarium today? But many of us needed clarification when buying such plants. Floating plants are very popular in the hobby and can usually be picked up from your local fish keeping store. I prefer to buy from trusted online retailers because they have the best range of species and tissue cultures. If you're looking for high quality aquatic plant, I will add their link in the description so you can easily buy any of these plants listed in this video. What are your favorite floating plants? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to support us, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby. If you have any questions or problems related to the aquarium hobby, join our Facebook and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. I am sure you will also find your solution if you face any fish keeping issues. Thanks for watching this video. 